Good morning. It is now Monday. Happy, happy Monday. Holy crap. Dudes, thank you so much. The amount of comments and, and, and stuff that I received after yesterday's video about Optic Day, uh, it warms my heart. Thank you. Know, know that know that, uh, that I appreciate it and, and please shower with cologne. No, I'm kidding. Uh, I took a shower. We're on a way to the scuff house. My pockets are full of batteries. From the drone, which I haven't used in a very long time. Everything's ready to go though. We're about to go record an episode of Smooth Competition. Good morning to you guys. Good morning. Good morning. Everybody was saying that you guys weren't happy to be in a vlog. Who said that? Everyone. Every, every single person. There was like 90,000 people have said, Yo, these guys don't like to be in cameras. I don't I'm, mind not, it. I, I'm not used to it. That's a, a, not used to it. I don't mind it though. Yeah. See guys, they don't mind it. So take that in your face. Headed to the scuff house now. We're about to go play some smooth competition. Got two of the brandest, of newest, of opponents. Oh, it's got a West football, right? So it's football? Yeah, I yeah. played football for 14 years. 14 years? 14 years? You think you're gonna be better than anybody else there? <laughs> Let's see. We'll see. All right, uh, we're headed over there right now. Let's get it. Ready? I literally just- Yo, check it out. I just found 250. It's like catching Pokemon. Ready? You see that pizza box right there? It's not supposed to be there. Ready, ready? 250. Yes, the young CSGO lads playing some ping pong, mate. Look at this beauty. Boom. Yo, happy birthday. Vlog, everybody go to Nick's Twitter and wish him a happy birthday. Even if you're a day late, go right now. Twitter.com forward slash optic underscore maniac? Yes. Underscore maniac. Wish him a happy birthday. Give him a follow. 29. 29. Damn! Woo! It's your old ass. One away from the dirty 30. In this episode of Smooth Competition, we play human foosball. Hockey? Yeah. Hockey, am I right? Pretty good. Ah. Oscar, you, this looks good? Yeah. You excited for your first ever smooth competition? The good thing is that you literally don't have to do anything but... I know. But pass I mean, it. I can, I can play this. I can't play soccer. So. Me either. You're kidding. I'll fucking puke on the ball. He has to play two at once. <laughs> So I'm freaking out a little bit because I just got, I just turned on the drone and it says that we are in a no-fly zone, which is like super unlikely. Find me. It says we're good. If there's one thing that you can tell Nick on his birthday, what is it? Love you, man. Happy birthday, man. What if he doesn't say anything back? It's fine. He knows I got much love, much respect for him. Yo, that's a raw ass shirt. That's the first time you probably wear it since I gave it to you fucking three years ago. No. But you love that Viking shit. Well, this one just stretches out nicely. No. Can't move my clubs and shoulders. Did you see that pick from Seth? Or did Did you see it? Which one? You got nudes on there, bro? Why are you covering up? Yeah, oh my god. <laughs> Jesus. What? Here, come do this pose. Get on your side. 
No, the other side. <laughs> pull your shirt down. Pull your shirt, yeah. <laughs> Still look the same. <laughs> Dude, I can't believe that. But one thing you want to say to Nick on his birthday. <clears throat> I'm happy after all these years we're still here. Oh yeah. No. His birthday. True he's he's not going out to dinner with us. Ew. You, you said that. that. I didn't say that. You said that. Yeah, you guys need to stop tearing each other apart. Yeah. Because yeah. I'm like the middleman in this relationship. Wait, so so you're the, the connector that makes the Eiffel Tower happen. Smooth Comp, episode 20, today. We turn 90. Look at my pants. Fuck, you can tell. Alright, done filming the episode of Smooth Competition. It was lit. It was illuminated. Illumined. Godwill playing some Codwell. Hyper games. Hyper games. This squad. Oh, the one thing that's not about that. How are they it's my first time with, uh, like it with the controller. Yeah. All right. Just dropped the boys off at the pool. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, I just dropped off Rush and Mixwell at their house. It's super exciting. The new process of having a new house. It's like. It's like reliving the original house over, or like, for the first time ever. Because both of these guys have never lived in a team house. For me, for me it's easy, right? I've been doing it for about two years now. And I'm not saying that I personally have been living in a, in a team house, but, uh, well, first of all, I stole Pomage's car, as you can see. Ian is starting a new chapter in his life. I'm super proud of the dude, I'm super happy for him. Uh, he's moving out of the scuff house and with his girlfriend Dana. I'm super psyched for both of them. Anyway, I'm headed home right now. Uh, the, the day was awesome. Ian got scarred up uh, because of an accident with with the uh, with because he had an accident with the drone. Uh, it's the, the the second that the drone runs out of battery, it just falls down. Not doesn't fall down, but it comes down. And that was his mistake, right? He didn't realize that he had to hold it with both hands, and it's happened before. Anyway, head home, gonna play some old bit of optic matches, then I have to head back to the Scuff House to do a couple of interviews for smooth competition, do a little recording for you guys, and then that's the day. Damn, bus late as fuck. What are you eating? Chicken, Brussels sprouts, and sweet potato. Game. Sweet taters? Alright, so at the house now. Oh my god, my hair needs a haircut. Anyway, uh, just got done playing some old bit of optic matches. We played with uh, Jack Dunlop Courage. Courage from the Courageous. Yeah, that's the angle, bro. All right, uh, at the at the Counter Strike house now. It's super echoey because I'm in the atrium. Um, tomorrow I'll be able to start vlogging from here, like without having a wall behind me to to uh, to not reveal anything. Um, you know, yesterday's video was was very very uh, emotional for me because it means a lot. You know. It, like I said, it didn't just affect me, it affected like a, it tr the trickle down effect on that one move was insane. So I want to thank all of you for uh, for being so cool about it and uh, you know, whatever. So right now we're doing vision stuff. Uh, today, uh, the, the video is going to go live, the unveiling, vision, the unveiling of the house, everything about this, every nook and cranny, okay, uh, while we wait for the rest of the Counter-Strike guys to start pouring in. Rush and, Rush and Mixwell are the only ones that are living here right now. Um, and the, uh, I can't wait to show you. It's looking dope. Everything else, like when I went, walked downstairs, it was pretty cool to, for me to see like the setups of everyone that's gonna be down there, or two of them. But I could just imagine what it's gonna be like. Now that we filmed tomorrow's uh, vision interviews, I'm gonna go home. Uh, I did, however, realize that there was a easy camera. Thank you. There was a. Uh, there was. A package at the door today at the scuff house that I forgot to grab. Every single time I pull into the house, I remember, uh, like, I see a package, I'm like, all right, grab that, grab that, grab that. But it's a present for the CSGO house. I cannot wait to show you guys tomorrow. Hopefully, you guys will tune in yet again. Having said that, and with that said, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow. As usual and as per usual, at the same damn
options for this and that. 